Fun. If you want an exciting show, just send Kevin Baptiste to a couple of exciting games, matchups, Zachary and EA, Parkview and Dunham. He will deliver. He might not get on the set on time, but he'll deliver the highlights, and here he is. Steve, Welcome, my man. Steve, you should already know how this goes. If I'm on the set, <laughs> chaos is going to happen. They and call me did. the agent of chaos, and there was plenty of chaos <laughs> off of Airline Drive at Parkview and Dunham. Just a lot of offense. The score at the half was 32-20 to 20 PBS. You see Dunham's assistant coach trying to get their defense more fired up, and their offense wasting no time right out the break. And on their first drive, Elijah Haven is going to hit Drew Bourgeois for the touchdown. And made it 32 to 27, but Parkview responds as quarterback Abram Johnson is going to call, call his own number for the touchdown. 39-27, Parkview increases their lead. Let me get my calculator out. Yeah, we're only getting started. <laughs> Off the turnover, Parkview's offense back at it. Johnson goes up top. CJ Delone, are you there? Woo! Yes, he is. 40-yard touchdown. Celebrate with your teammates. 46-27, he didn't want to look the camera, but it's all good, I got your highlight. <laughs> He's got more to do. Skip along to the fourth quarter, 40, still 46-27. Haven goes up top, Bourgeois again. Extra points, no good, but Dunham, they're still in it, 46-33. Here's their offense, back at it again. Haven is gonna drop back. If you, if you wanna stick with it, keep on doing it. Bourgeois, down the right sideline, deep pass, Touchdown, extra point, no good again, 46-39. It's a little slice of Haven. First play of the next drive, Justin, Brock Como, wide open, gets behind the defense, 52-39 Parkview. That looks like the kill shot, but it's not. Dunham is still in it with two minutes left, as Haven is going to drop back and find Are you kidding a, me? another go-to guy, Jack Como, and that makes it 52-46. to Third down for Parkview, and Justin. He's going to throw to the right side, but Bourgeois is going to come up with a big pop. Boom. And again, it didn't feature any defense. The defense is making <laughs> plays. But here comes Dunham's offense. On the third and 18, tip, tip. Oh, oh Bourgeois. No. Again, the Tigers are still alive. And they're driving for the go-ahead touchdown. 20 seconds left in the game. Haven is going to drop back. He's going to find <laughs> Brunson Bonneville. But they don't have any timeouts. And the clock is still running. So they have to hurry up. Tick, tick, 10, tick, tick, tick. Nine. Tick, tick. Eight, tick, seven, tick. Six. Line it up. You got to step Come it up. On. You got to step it. They finally get it off just, just before it goes triple zero. Haven rolls to his right. Can't find anyone. Can't find anyone. Throws it in the end zone. Oh. Nobody there. And what a classic for week one, Steve. 52-46. Parkview is the final. And uh, it's going to be a hell of a film study for both of these defenses come tomorrow. They're going to they're gonna burn that film. I'm telling you. <laughs> How do I follow that? All right, let's take you down to Donaldsonville. Assumption last week, I believe they lost to Santa Mar 35 0. The Mustangs on the road at the Tigers. Pick it up. 14 0 assumption in the third quarter. Tigers running back, Jaden Allen. Oh, fumble. Tavian Jackson is recovering it for Assumption. So here go the Mustangs. Ensuing drive, a fourth down. It is Reese Turner, the keeper, cuts back. Gets the yardage and a first down. They're knocking on the door. Next play, and it's Turner again on the keeper in the end zone. Just like that, after two-point try failed, it's assumption on top, 20 to nothing. Tigers, their ensuing possession, it's Blake Turner. Going deep, looking for something to get on the board, but no, this is just going to be another turnover. turnover. It's picked off by Braden Grove. And he makes a nice return down the sideline into the red zone. From there, Turner back at it again, calling his own number. This time he's going to try the left side. Here he comes, right at you. Cuts inside, pushes his way into the end zone. That's another touchdown. Assumption all over Donaldsonville tonight. 36 to nothing. Mustangs win that one to open the season with a win. Oh, not a good uh, outing for the Tigers. Also wasn't good for the Madison Prep Chargers <laughs> last night in New Orleans as they got stomped by Brother Martin 28 to nothing as Landry Williams teams will look to bounce back next week. All right, I believe we got Tara on a Thursday night playing against Frederick Douglas. There's the visiting team right there. They were already up early in the game. Trying to add to a 14 to 8 lead, getting the ball down to the 30 yard line. Again, Frederick Douglas moving the football, picking up some good yardage there. But eventually they could not score, and Tara actually is the one to eventually get in the scoring act, although Tyrone Johnson, their quarterback, is sacked right before the half. 
Johnson's going to hand it off to their money maker. That would be Jordan Bowie. A touchdown, a two point play. Tara had a 16 14 lead, but it was Vance Reed leading Douglas to the victory. Final score in this one Frederick Douglas 34 and the Terra Trojans 16. All right, let's switch it over to Gonzalez over at Spartan Stadium. Zachary on the road taking on East Ascension. These teams kind of have a little history of uh, starting the season out going up against each other. And this one has some plays, but it was a little sloppy to start it off. In the first quarter, on the third down, the snap sails behind Hudson Browning. He's going to dump it off to Ja'Cory Mitchell. He's going to get a block and take it down the left sideline for what looks like a first down. But we got some uh, yellow hankies on the field. That's going to be brought back for a blindside block. So uh, take that big gain off the board. Later in the first quarter, still 0-0. Zachary with the ball is going to be Hudson Spangler going deep to trade as Green. The LSU commit hauling in the 40-yard pass, setting Zachary up on the goal line on the third and goal. Spangler is going to throw it to Tyson George, who tries to sneak inside the pylon. line. He thinks he's in, but he's not. Fourth and goal, Zachary goes for it, but they bobble the snap. EA is all over it. Turnover on downs. Great stop for the Spartans defense and Chinese bandits from their student section. But Zachary would bounce back. Still scores in the second quarter. It's going to be Nate James getting the carry, bouncing through some tackles. Would be tackles for the goal, going down for the first down. And then James is going to finish what he started with a short touchdown run. Finally got some points on the board in the mid second quarter as Zachary would go on to get the win 24 to 7. All right, we're going to go back to Mississippi twice in one night. That's unusual. We've already been to Picayune. Now we're headed to Jackson. Jackson Academy hosting the Silliman Wildcats. Remember the Wildcats won their season opener, a emotional night where they got a, a big victory, but they're up against serious competition here. As you see, uh, Pruitt James to Reed Armstrong. Later, the Raiders bounce back. Carter Matheson to Omarion Ellis makes one guy miss. Eventually rolls up, gets a first down, and from there, the Raiders offense gets the score. This one wasn't close. Silliman had trouble stopping this team, one of the top teams in the MAIS in Mississippi. And Jackson Academy wins it by a 51 to nothing final score over the Wildcats of Silliman, who are all, already three games into their season in the MAIF. And we have another Louisiana Mississippi score as uh, Ocean Springs wallop Scotlandville 49 to 6. So uh, a big night for the Mississippi teams against Louisiana schools. I would say, say so, Steve. All right, we got some coaching debuts still to get to in the show. Sid Edwards starting his career with Astruma. We have that coming up. All